video will be making a simple boom bat beat with Cubase Pro 14. One of the new features in Cubase 14 is the drum machine. You know, it's super simple now to create drum kits. Uh, before we had something called Groove Agent, but now we got the drum machine and it just makes it so much easier to load up some samples and make some patterns. So I'm just loading up some boom bap drums that come with Cubase, some kick drums, a hi-hat, a snare, and an open hi-hat. And Cubase 14 also comes with a new pattern editor. You know, it's similar to the drum editor that they had before, but now you can basically create patterns and then add your own custom swing to them. And by custom swing, I mean that certain notes you could add a, a delay to them and then you could make them play faster. So it'd be very similar. Like if you're playing it live, sometimes you're not going to hit that note exactly on grid. Sometimes it'll be sooner. Sometimes it'll be later. So that's what I mean by offset. And as you can see here, I'm adjusting the hi-hat offset just by a little bit for each note. So, you know, if I, if I push it up, it's going to play uh, a little bit later. If I push it down, it's going to play a little bit quicker than what's actually on the grid. So this kind of gives it its own swing. And instead of the hi-hat, I was actually making a pattern for the open hi-hat. So I'm gonna switch those samples around because I was trying to make this into the close hi-hat pattern, but I accidentally used the open hi-hat. So I'm switching out those samples. And again, this, this beat is very simple. It's just to show you some of the new features for Cubase 14. I'll upload more videos that are a little bit more advanced, but for the meantime, you know, this, this beat is pretty good. And you could have done this before on Cubase 13, but this pattern editor just makes it where you could get a swing a little bit faster. You just generate new ideas using this pattern editor. Whereas before, if you use the key editor or the drum editor it's just a different way of producing but this way you could add swing a little bit faster in my workflow so now i'm just looking for a melody again this samples come with cubase so i'm just gonna find something quick throw it into a sample editor and then just chop it up and just come up with a simple pattern And hopefully in the future, you know, Steinberg um, makes a sample editor a little bit more like Serato where you could auto chop the samples, um, stem separate. They have the technology already in place, but if they just, you know, improved it onto a sample editor, it just makes the sampler probably the best out there. So, you know, I, I'm playing this simple melody right now. Um, I'm just going to play it over the drums and then show you another um, new feature in Cubase 14. feature in Cubase 14 is modulators. This is a feature that I didn't know I needed, but after messing around with these modulators, it just, you know, the, the possibility of sound design, um, it just opens up. Um, in this example, I'm going to use a reverb. I believe it's a new reverb called Shimmer, and I'm just going to modulate it in a way similar to automation, but just way quicker. To me, it's kind of like having now you could have like a custom portal VST where you could combine different VSTs and then automate or modulate different parameters and come up, come up with custom sound design. So 
So again, this sounds to me very similar to something like the Portal VST. And now you could use something like the Halftime VST and just modulate crazy things. Whereas before you would have to automate these features and it would just be too tedious, but now it's super fast. So you could go crazy with your sound design. You could throw any VST and modulate it. So this is, to me is probably the best feature added in Cubase 14 that I didn't know that I needed. So uh, again, a very useful tool. boom bad beat you know i'm gonna put a high pitch sound in the in the beginning just to get that little click sound so i don't have to add a kick drum to this bass it's just a little you know what i'm saying i think metro booming does this a lot in this case i overdid it but just to show you guys how you guys could add that clicking sound to the 808 in the beginning to add that transient so with that being said is the final beat you know subscribe i'm gonna have way more advanced videos for cubase um i'll have videos on how to mix and master cubase you know how to create ideas from start to finish including the beat the vocals and everything in between to me cubase is that daw and um 